Today I'm dropping on board the Sea Princess for a ship inspection, so let's go have a look at what she's got to offer. The Sea Princess is one of four Sun-class cruise ships built for Princess cruises in the mid to late 1990s. At around 77,000 tonnes, these are firmly placed in the mid-size category, offering a more intimate onboard experience than you may have come to expect from the latest and largest ships afloat. Sister ship Sun Princess continues to sail for Princess cruises, Whilst the Dawn Princess was rebirthed as the Pacific Explorer in 2017, you can watch my tour of that ship by clicking in the upper right hand corner. The Sun class exhibits a striking bow, sharply defined and to my eyes, belying its age. Boarding the ship in the stunning piazza, I was immediately taken by the warmth of the space. It exudes a certain charm, with warm lighting and wood finishes, along with glass faced elevators and cascading staircases. This space serves as a link to the public areas on board, connecting all of the decks and allowing passengers a space to mingle and meet over a cocktail or coffee. We'll visit the atrium again at the end of this tour. Starting out on deck 7, we head forward passing some window displays indicating that the Princess Theatre is just ahead. First though, we'll stop in at the Wheelhouse Bar. This space is steeped in maritime history, and if you enjoy everything nautical, then you'll love this space. This is also where the Future Cruise sales desk is located. Don't forget to purchase your Future Cruise certificate when you're on board. Unfortunately I had an issue with recording and didn't capture as much footage as I thought I did, but next up is the Princess Theatre. A clear view from every seat in the house means you'll enjoy watching theatrical productions and other headliner shows in this space. Here's a quick view of a typical staircase on board Sea Princess. The warm tones, timber panelling and artwork really make for a beautiful area. Heading straight up to deck 14, we'll take a walk through the Horizon Court, which is the location of the onboard buffet. This voluminous space offers two identical food stations, one starboard and one port. With a wraparound section dedicated to the Amuleto Cafe, extra seating, as well as access to the outside forward decks. The space doubles as specialty dining venues in the evenings, with one side being converted to the Sterling Steakhouse and the Crab Shack. Heading out of the Horizon Court and to Deck 14 Midship, we come across the Terrace Grill, another onboard casual dining venue that is included in your cruise fare. You'll find poolside treats and snacks like hamburgers, hot dogs, and the occasional barbecue. There were also sausage rolls and pies available the day I was on board. The space also gives you a vantage point to look over the entire midship pool area on deck 12 below. Down on deck 12, the Riviera Bar is the main poolside bar location. There's a lot of space around the pools and whirlpool spas, 
with comfortable lounge chairs so you can laze about in the sun. This is also the location of the Princess Specialty, Movies Under the Stars. Here's a shot from my cruise on the Majestic Princess. You can see how much detail Princess have gone to in order to make the experience of watching a Hollywood blockbuster Under the Stars a fun and special one. Further aft, we reach the New Zealand Ice Cream Stand. A Kiwi and Aussie specialty is a range of premium ice creams, desserts and drinks available for purchase throughout your cruise. Heading out of this area and aft once more, we enter the ship and take a passing glance at the onboard salon. The Lotus Bar and Fitness Center are also located here. Walking through the reception area of the Lotus Spa takes you into the well-equipped gym. A little on the small side, the space still offers a large range of cardio and weight equipment to use during your voyage. There is another pool and two whirlpool spas located here with access from the gym or the upper decks. Walking across the aft and to the other side is where you'll find fitness classes and the requisite sign-up forms. A quick walk through the Lotus Spa treatment room area and we're back in the aft staircase. Unfortunately, we didn't have an opportunity for a proper tour of this area, but here is where you'll find the youth and teen centres. Princess has a world-renowned youth program on board its ships, making it perfect for the whole family. Heading all the way down to Deck 8 and walking midship, we reach the Monte Carlo Casino. This generous space hosts table games and slot machines for your playing pleasure. There's also a second, smaller atrium section, which we'll see from the deck below a little later. It's also the location of the Captain Circle host, the onboard Princess Loyalty Membership Ambassador, who can provide assistance with any perk or membership inquiries while you're on board. Next up is Café Cornish, another included dining venue offering pizzas and antipasto, with a range of desserts daily. You start to understand how the interior public spaces are all connected by this grand area. Down to Deck 7, the atrium plays host to Crooner's Bar and Lounge, one of the most popular venues on board. Heading aft on Deck 7 through the Art Gallery and into Legend Sports Bar for a brief walk through this sports themed bar and lounge. Here you'll find a pool table, a dance floor, a bar of course, ample seating and a foosball table. A quick detour from the tour group and I stumbled into the Nook. The onboard whiskey bar is somewhat hidden and is another warm and intimate space to enjoy a drink.
further aft and we'll take a quick glance at the onboard library and internet cafe. These two inviting spaces are offering a quiet area, hidden away from the main hustle and bustle on board. Heading back out and through the photo gallery, the Vista Lounge is our next destination. This is another main entertainment venue on board and it's a large space with a bar, stage and plenty of comfortable seating and lounge areas. A quiet area to relax in during the day, you'll find this space also offers up entertainment in the form of comedians, bingo, the occasional port talk and more. past the nook and into the art gallery. You'll find a dedicated entry into the Monte Carlo Casino above. into the atrium once again and down to deck 6. Here you'll find the shops of Princess, offering fashion, jewellery, makeup, souvenirs and day-to-day -day items like personal care and even snacks. Down the grand central staircase to deck 5, we can appreciate the glass-faced elevators. pianist adds to the ambience on board. Deck 5 is also the location of the shore excursions desk. La Patisserie for barista made coffee and on the starboard side the guest services desk. The Rigoletto dining room is also accessed from deck 5, while one deck higher on 6, you'll find access to the Traviata dining room, which also serves as the club class dining room for those guests staying in full suites or club class mini suites, offering guaranteed anytime walk-in dining and tableside preparation of special club class dishes. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the Sea Princess up close and personal. It was a great day on board and I'm sorry to say that it was the last cruise inspection that I've done and most likely will be the last for a little while. Um, the cruise that was leaving the day that I was on board was actually a circumnavigation of Australia. So unfortunately for the guests that were on board that day, the cruise ended just a few days in and uh, everyone had to go home. So I certainly hope that if you were on board, you get a chance to get back on soon um, and hopefully we can all get back to normal as soon as possible. So I hope wherever you are, you're staying safe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. You can also go to my website, thecruiseandtravelguide.com.au. And if you're not following me on social media, you can uh, reach me on Instagram and Facebook at The Cruise and Travel Guide. Thanks for watching, stay safe wherever you are, and uh, happy travels soon, I hope. Happy travels soon. <laughs>